Hello, Fireman Rich here. Happy New Year. 2012 is here. Um, what you see before you is one of the Christmas presents I received from the missus. And it's a Harbor Freight 45 watt solar power kit to where I'm going to be playing around with solar power. I call it my little garden of harvesting a little bit of the sunlight. So I'm out here in my garage to assemble this Harbor Freight 45 watt solar panel kit that the missus gave me for uh, Christmas. Something I've been uh, wanting to play around with, solar that is, uh, to uh, see what it's all about, to uh, sort of broaden my uh, knowledge base on the subject and uh, as a little hobby to uh, tinker around with. Something that uh, I've been looking at over the last year or two. There is quite a few uh, YouTube's a wealth of information on uh, this particular product so I'm not going to go ahead and go into uh, filming the actual assembly as much as uh, just showing the product and uh, the end result as far as what I'll be hooking up, up to. So uh, I'll be taking a little coffee break here and uh, I will uh, go ahead and uh, start the assembly and uh, hopefully on the flip side here shortly I will have the uh, finished product out in the backyard uh, up and running. Well, here's the final assembly of the Harbor Freight uh, solar uh, panel kit. And the only issue I, I had as far as on the quick assembly, because it didn't take me that long, where there's some secure latches on the back of the uh, solar panels that uh, needed adjustment. And that was identified in previous uh, YouTubes concerning this particular product. Uh, no problem assembling it. Uh, you can see uh, on the charge controller I'm already pulling 4.5 watts being inside the garage here. Um, I got the connectors out. I just pulled out one light. Uh, so the next step in this uh, little uh, assembly this morning uh, is to take it out in the backyard to harvest some sun which there is sunlight outside and uh, I have a little uh, booster pack uh, car starter that uh, I've been using uh, that I will be using to uh, charge up and collect some solar power so we'll be moving this assembly out in the backyard okay we relocated out here in the backyard it took me nothing to bring this out from the garage it's just a few minutes to assemble it on the table here uh, as you can see from the light that I plugged in I'm already I'm pulling solar this is all solar from this light and uh, I have about 14, roughly 14 watts I'm pulling, um, chart with that light on, I can unplug that, but I also have this battery pack I'm charging uh, via a 300 watt transformer, it just seemed like the, the logical way of uh, getting the current into this battery pack, uh, which is about, uh, it says it's a 300 amp start power, but uh, from the specs, this is basically a seven to eight amp hour battery. I had a, a, a light on this the other night. It was a 13 watt fluorescent uh, light that uh, this battery lasted for about four, I could have gone five hours, I guess, uh, uh, on it uh, powering a, uh, a lamp. And that's my whole setup initially, is just to get a couple lights off of a battery. My next step is to purchase a deep cell battery, probably 125 amp amperage on the deep cell. Um, I couldn't ask for a nicer day today uh, after assembling this. Uh, the missus is over in the driveway washing uh, her car. Uh, Max is behind the camera enjoying the sun and this is like a spring day out here. So uh, this concludes uh, my assembly of the Christmas present that the missus gave me of the Harbor Freight 45 watt uh, solar panel kit. Nothing to assemble. Um, I had fun. Uh, uh, this is going to be a neat piece of technology to play around with. Thank you for watching. 
uh, seeing that this is the first of uh, January 2012, I want to wish everybody a happy new year and the best wishes throughout this year. Uh, you can follow me on Twitter, at Fireman Rich. I'm over there on Google Plus as well. And uh, you all have a good one. Ciao for now. Peace. The last one beer, please.